your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by ACUA, keeping Atlantic County clean and green for a bright future. And good late Friday evening, meteorologist Bobby Clark here with an update on your forecast. Hope you had a fantastic week, hope you had a Merry Christmas, hope you have a Happy New Year, and thank you for joining me this weekend. Boy, what a far cry from me standing here last Sunday night, these temperatures. We were in the deep freeze, but look at this evening. Temperatures are still in the 40s at the moment, which is pretty much our almost close to our daytime highs. That will continue to be the case throughout overnight tonight as clouds continue to filter on and out ahead of a system that's out in the Ohio Valley that will push to our north. Brings a chance of maybe some rain showers as we head throughout the day for tomorrow. Take a look at the future cast for the rest of tonight. Clouds will continue to build in here from the southwest to the northeast, filtering in and heading in for tomorrow. Some patchy fog also, especially as you head towards the coastline because we do have temperatures that are still on the cooler side of, in the ocean itself, but still warmer than land temperature. Rain starts moving here, I think, as we head towards more towards the afternoon. I think the morning looks okay. Could see a, spr uh, a sprinkle or two early on. But I think the main gig is going to happen as we head towards the afternoon and on into the evening hours itself and spin through here throughout overnight tomorrow night on into early Sunday morning. Then it moves on out of here. And the good news about this system Compared to when we talked about last weekend that brought all that cold air in there, uh, the changeover to some snow, we saw even some hail and some sleet in there, all the good kibosh of everything that was going on last week. This one's not going to have a lot of cold air behind it. In fact, it's going to stay very mild for us as we head towards the uh, beginning of the new year on into next week. So tonight we're foggy. Clouds will continue to build south to southwesterly breeze, picking up as we head throughout the overnight hours, and we'll see early lows. These temperatures will basically stay steady, if not rise a bit, as we head towards the daybreak hours. As for our Saturday, exclusive NORCAST region by region hyperlocal forecast temperatures. Under those rainy skies, we'll see pushing up near 60 degrees in some places, but as you head towards the shoreline, we'll see things just a little bit cooler due to a south to southeasterly breeze and te ocean temperatures, as I mentioned, in the low to mid 40s, so make it feel a little bit more chillier and probably under those foggy conditions. Temperatures, as I mentioned, along the shoreline, low 50s throughout. We'll see some mid to even some upper 50s under those cloudy skies and also those rainy skies and those showers, especially as we head towards the afternoon. As for your Sunday, much better. As I mentioned, not a lot of cold air behind the system. So yes, the winds will pick up out of the west, but again, not seeing a lot in the way in terms of cold air behind it. So yes, it'll be breezy. We'll see that sustained wind up to 13 to 15 miles per hour gusts, probably around 25 to 30 miles per hour. But again, we'll be on the mild side temperatures getting up into the upper 50s. Seven day forecast for us, Monday looking just as nice, 56 degrees, 60 as we head into Tuesday. Then we're gonna watch a couple of systems push in here. A couple right now, maybe a near miss or two, but watching potentially three systems off our coastline. Again, I have to keep an eye on the third one of which is coming in on Thursday. That unfortunately is gonna bring back the more seasonal conditions at colder conditions. We head into your exclusive NORCAST plus three days, mostly cloudy. We'll see winds out of the Northwest temperatures back into the 30s. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow morning.